Hello viewers, in this video, we will see how to export the procedural textures that we created for the ground, along with the model. Select the track and go to modifiers tab. Apply the subdivision surface modifier. Now go to edit mode. As you can see, there are different materials assigned to different parts of the ground. Now press A, to select everything. Press P and select separate by material. Now go back to object mode and let's select plane 10. Go to UV editing window and make sure it is unwrapped. Now go to shading window. Add an image node, and click on new to create a new image. Let's name it plane 10 final diffuse. Uncheck alpha, and multiply height and width values by 2, to get a 2K texture. Press OK. Open the new image that we have created. It will look black because no texture has been baked yet. Go to scene tab, which is the second option in the side panel. Change the render engine to cycles, and device to GPU, because it is faster. Now under the bake settings, set the bake type to diffuse. Uncheck direct and indirect contributions. Select the image node, and click on bake. As you can see on the left, the procedural texture has been baked into one image, which can be saved. Now we have to do the same process for baking the normal map. Duplicate the image node, and remove the existing image. Create a new 2K texture. Change the bake type to normal. In the left panel, open the new image created. Now click on bake, while keeping the normal map node selected. As you can see on the left, the normal map has got baked. Now add a principled BSDF shader. Connect the diffuse texture node to the base color input. Now add a normal map node. Connect the color points of the image node and the normal map node. Then connect the output of normal map node to the normal input of BSDF shader. Now connect the BSDF shader, to the surface socket of material output shader. To save the baked textures, click on the three lines above the texture present at the bottom left corner, select image option, and then click on save as. Save the texture wherever you want. Now open the diffuse texture, and follow the same process to save all your baked textures. Similarly baked textures for other grass planes enclosed by the racetrack. Unfortunately, it's not possible to bake high quality textures of big objects. So instead of having a procedural texture, I have applied a single texture to the ground surrounding the racetrack. The car won't be going there as the track will be surrounded by the barrier. So it's no use applying a complex texture there. To export the model, select all parts of the model. To select all parts, select the first part in hierarchy, hold shift and select the last part, now go to file, export, and then select the file type. In the export options at the right side, enable selected objects, 
and select mesh from object types. Give your file a name and click on export. I wish all my viewers a happy new year. Big thanks to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. In the next video, we will spread some trees using geometry nodes. Thanks for watching.